Hey there. Start here. Uh, so we're going to take on Neo X Death today with Wilhelm. Um, so going to do, a, a, again, a s different team, uh, obviously different uh, different builds than the one I showed you before. If you would rather follow, um, you know, my previous team was, again, using my unit as, as my leader. We went, you know, strictly light element uh, against Neo X Death in my previous, uh, previous clear. You can still follow that. Um, if you would rather, and all you would have to do is just switch out, um, you would take Abigail out and put Wilhelm in Abigail's place. Uh, uh, Wilhelm is, is fully capable of tanking this fight, which is pretty impressive, um, especially considering that this boss does throw some non-elemental magic damage, um, and he is not really well equipped uh, to, to tank magic damage, but he does, does quite well. Um, so I was, I was very pleasantly surprised by Wilhelm's ability to tank this trial. Um, but yeah, this is just uh, a, a different team. We're going to go Dark Element on this one. So that's why we've got Zahn, we've got Aethne, we've got Melissa. Uh, Melissa obviously bringing the Beast Killers. But, um, you know, it's not necessary. You can follow my previous Light Clear using uh, Yuna as the leader uh, and Pinello. You could even... Potentially, you know, since Yuna was really just there to be the leader, uh, you could still do a light team clear, and you could probably put someone else in Yuna's place, like another strong light DPS unit or something. Or you could bring Zahn. You could bring Zahn along. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, you know, all that to say, if you would rather do my light te team clear um, with Wilhelm, just put Wilhelm in Abigail's place, and you should be fine. Um, but yeah, so let's get this one done I'm, I'm gonna i want to make sure we get it done first there is a, a little bit of rng um wilhelm actually largely helps take a fair bit of that rng out uh but there is still a little bit of rng with the uh, the grand crosses uh when we push the threshold and just depends on what you know what ailment melissa might get hit with uh but anyways Let's get in here, let's get it done, and then uh, I will make sure I show you guys the gear uh, before the fight is over. All right, uh, so if you saw my previous video, or if you've seen any videos, or if you've attempted this trial, you know it's a two-phase fight. Um, the turn count only matters for the second phase of the fight. So you can, you know, you can take as many turns as you want on this one, um, except if you go longer than 10 turns, the boss will start doing uh, AoE re unresistible death to the party. So you cannot actually go uh, lo longer than, than 10 turns. It's a bit of a gatekeeper to the second phase. Um, for this party... Ideally, uh, you want to kill the boss by turn five. You know, if you can kill it by turn four, great, but ideally by turn five, just, you know, for ease of setting up the rotation um, for the next phase. But yeah, turn five, uh, preferably if you want to follow this one. Now, unfortunately, my Zahn and Ithne are still EX2. Um, it would be, it'd be much better if they were EX3, but it is what it is, and we're going to make it work. Okay. So to get started, let's start with Melissa. All right, Melissa will do Curse Control for the uh, Dark Imbue with 45% amp. Um, actually, no, she's not going to do that this turn. Sorry. We're going to do Shelga because we want to make sure that uh, that Wilhelm has uh, some magic mitigation. So that's going to be his source of 75% magic mitigation. Shared immunity for ailment resists. And then um, we're going to do uh, Human Killer on My Fundamental Force. Doesn't matter which one. Just do it on one of them. Uh, Kazan's going to steal it and spread it next turn anyways. Okay. Um, and make sure you do the human killer for this one because the first boss is human and plant. All right. Um, Aethne is going to imbue everyone in dark uh, gloomy black for her own 60% amp. Black and rainbow for the 40% dark amp field. And hope for oblivion for the, uh, the buffs, the party buffs. Okay, Willie is going to just do his usual setup where he's just going to do safeguard, siege strategy, and attrition strategy to get us started. Zahn is going to... Ba, 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 um, he's going to do deadly daggers, black fog for the, um, the dark imperil field, and then he's going to do fatal mirror on my fundamental force. Whichever one got the 250 buff, that's the one you want to use fatal mirror on. Okay, so he's going to do that. All right, the two fundamental forces are just going to do Heavenly Hypernova, Double Galactic. All right, because everyone's going to get the beast, 
or sorry, the human killer next turn, so we don't have to worry about using the human killer here. Okay. Alright, so now it jumps Willie to tank it. Like a champ. You see he's got over 100,000 HP. Boy is stacked. So that's with the full 600% HP passives. Uh, plus, you know, some gear that has some static HP on it. So yeah, he is he is good to go. Again, I'll show you the gear at the end. Um, Alright. Melissa. On this turn, um, she can do Curse Control, Chronic Flow, and uh, we'll just do a Bard Dark Jug. All right, so Curse Control just does a slightly higher amp for the Fundamental Forces, because we're not going to use any of our ramping amps on the... We don't want to waste them on this first phase. We're going to save all those for phase two. All right, Zahn on this turn is now going to do uh, Enervating Eclipse, so we got the big breaks. Um, he can do Shadow Self for his own 60% amp, and uh, Projected Mirror, so everybody gets the uh, the Beast Killer. All right, or sorry, the Human Killer. I keep saying Beast, because phase two is, is Beast. <clears throat> okay, uh, and then we're just gonna do an LB, and we're basically just gonna do LBs until this thing is dead. Okay, so Ithne's normal LB is a one-hit finisher, so we have to send her first, and then send uh, everyone else who has extreme Nova chains. Okay, and that's pretty typical. I did mistime the chain a little bit there, sending Wilhelm. Uh, before the other fundamental forces, but that's all right. Yeah, see, we didn't get all the hits in the chain there, but it's no big deal. We're still going to get it done. All right, and then, yeah, Melissa is just going to fill everybody up here. All right. Triple bar dark ja. Okay, and we're just going to go again, except Zahn's going to uh, jump in on this one. Okay, so yeah, we should still be good there. I'm going to send Zahn and Wilhelm first, and then Eithne, and then the Fundamental Forces. All right. Okay. We're looking good, looking good. All right, so that was an unresistible death that is targeted specifically to slot four. So I, I put Zahn in that slot just because I don't really care if Zahn dies. Um, you know, he gets uh, he gets revived anyways, thanks to Melissa. Um, and then he gets his SLB, so it's not a big deal. Okay, we do have to remember to, mm, sorry, re-imbue him. So, uh, and we have to remember to put Willie's cover back up because uh, he will not have cover anymore. Double bar light ya to help finish filling up some LBs. Okay. And let's re-imbue Zahn. So we'll do in dark. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him, uh, not beast, human. <laughs> um, and then da, 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 uh, we'll do minutes of might for uh, an LB damage buff for him. Okay. Because I think... Yeah, he needs everything, basically. Okay. All right, there we go. Um, so, Eithne's SLB is extreme Nova Chaining, so that's great. So we'll send Zahn and Eithne, uh, and then the Fundamental Forces. Okay. All right, perfect. One more turn, and this guy is dead. All right, um, so let's see. What we want to do here is just fill up and go again. Oh. Yep, nothing fancy. Just get it done, okay? 
So send Eithne first, and then Zahn and Wilhelm, followed by Fundamental Forces. Boom, there we go. All right. First phase down five turns. Looking good, looking good. Mm -hmm. All right, now, <clears throat> I wish, I, I so wish that, um, that Zahn and Eithne were EX3, because that would make the rotation so much, so much better. Um, so what we're going to do to kind of, to, to try and line things up a little bit here is we are going to, um, uh, you yeah, know, it, it, it's a little funky. It's, um, I mean, it is what it is. We're going to do Abyssal Blessing. All right, we're going to go ahead and start a Dark Ramp here. Um, we're going to do Beast Killer on my Fundamental Force. Um, and then we will do a... Um, da -da 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 -da. Actually, we're not going to do Beast Killer yet on my Fundamental Force. Let's save that. Uh, we will do a uh, Ramping dark amp uh but we need to do our shared immunity and we need to do shelga for wilhelm all right that is vital okay um yep then we're gonna do uh safeguard siege attrition and his attrition strategy comes with a nice 80 percent beast mitigation so that's really going to help him tank this one uh like a champ okay all right, Fundamental Forces. All right, I'm going to do a setup. Let's do a Heavenly Hypernova. Uh, we'll do a Guidance of Leo. And uh, Galactic. Yeah, just Galactic Sunder, I guess, just to hit it with something. All right, Heavenly, Guidance of Leo, Galactic Sunder. All right. Uh, Ithne will do her usual uh, in Dark, uh, Gloomy Black, Black and Rainbow, and Hope for Oblivion. All right, because so they've still got a couple of turns on their on theirs uh, before they can do anything. So let's do uh, deadly daggers, black fog, just to make sure we're getting all of that uh, out of the way, and then um, yeah, we'll go ahead and use the innervating eclipse. All right, um, that way we're ready to go uh, next turn with. Um, uh, uh, with the SLBs on the Fundamental Forces. Okay. Yeah, so you see, we still have to deal with those, um, with those vacuum waves. Um, now, you may have seen in, in Wanderer's Clear of Kefka, so Wanderer, you know, being the, the god-tier player that he is, he discovered that um, those, these provoke ignoring attacks like, uh, like Kefka's hyperdrives and these vacuum waves, these attacks that ignore provoke, they still will respect camouflage. And so if you put enough camouflage on your, like if you can get your units up to 75% camouflage, uh, there's a much, 75 to 100% camouflage, there's a much, uh, lower chance that they will actually be hit by those vacuum waves. Uh, so that's something you can try, but honestly, um, just giving, you can also give your units more stacks of guts, however you want to work that, uh, work that out. All right, we're going to do uh, LB, LB, ba, ba, ba. we're going to go ahead and do our first overdrive. Okay, Zahn is going to, um, he's going to do some stealing here, uh, but we got to make sure we do a beast killer. Psh, psh, psh on my fundamental force, um, followed by, let's do a chronic flow, and uh, we'll do a curaga, okay? Okay, now Zahn's gonna need to steal the beast. All right, let me just double check, make sure I did that one right. Yep, okay, Beast Killer. So we're gonna steal that. 
we will... Does he need to do anything else here? Hmm... Yeah, if we want... Yeah, because the way it works out later on, I, I didn't actually have the action economy to use his 150 amp last time. So I'm going to go ahead and use his 150 amp uh, so that we can use that next turn, I think. Yeah, because I never, I never had the action economy to do it on the last one. Um, so that way he'll get a little extra damage on his SLB. Yeah, on his SLB next turn. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and do some LBs here. And see if we can't crank out just a little bit of damage. So we should have the 75% amp this turn, and then we'll have the 100% amp ready to go next turn. Okay, and let's see how we do. Okay, not too bad. All right, so you saw that Melissa got dispelled there. So it is critical um, that any turn she gets dispelled, you got to make sure she puts her uh, ailment resist back up. Because if he does a random grand, uh, well, it's not random, but on turns where he does grand cross, um, other than threshold turns, when he does threshold grand crosses, he always dispels first. So there's no avoiding it. Um, but he'll also do grand cross, uh, you know, here and there. So you got to make sure. Um, so we're going to do shared immunity to make sure she is uh, buffed. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. And then we'll do... Uh, la, 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 la. What should we do here? Just do another Shelga, maybe. And... Mm-mm-mm. I will do curse control. That way, <clears throat> after this turn, we'll still have a 45% amp on our fundamental forces. Okay. Um, just double checking myself, make sure we all look good. Okay. All right. Now, as much as I would love Willie to do another LB on this turn, he is not. He's going to re up his cover and do double bar light you because we need to have a light buff for the party uh, for the upcoming uh, light damage attack that's going to do a big imperil on the party with uh, light damage over time. So we got to make sure we are prepared for that. Okay. That also helps fill up the uh, Fundamental Forces LBs, which is good. All right, so uh, obviously start with Zahn and Eithne first, followed by the Fundamental Forces. Let's see how we do. Nice, looking good, looking good. All right, so there you see Wilhelm taking a, a vacuum wave to the face, and he keeps on ticking. Man is a beast. Okay. Um, we are now, I think now we're just gonna kinda keep doing some some chip damage. We're just gonna keep kind of chipping away. Uh Yep, because everyone's still got the Beast Killer on them, so we're just going to use Melissa. Alright, to keep on loading here. Wilhelm can join in on the fun. And yeah, we should be good. Alright.
All right, there's that light damage. Almagest is the light damage attack that I was mentioning. Uh, it does light magic damage over time and does a 170% imperil on the party. So it is definitely critical that you have uh, the bar light jabuff there for the party to keep everyone going. All right. <clears throat> um, so we do have, let's see, how long do these guys have? Yeah, they've still got a couple of turns on there. All right. Um, I think what I want to do here is... Because they've got... They still have the 250 Beast Killer. Yep. Which is good. He's still got four turns on that. She's still got that. They still got two turns. See, this is why I hate... Uh, this is why I hate lining up SLBs. It's such a headache, man. Such a headache to line these things up. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do uh, the SLBs here. God, what a pain in my arse this is. Um... Okay, I'm going to have her do... Um, yeah, I'm going to have her do that. Her SLB on Zahn so that we can get his projected mirror back up pretty soon. Um, Alright, Wilhelm is just going to once again re-up... Uh, uh, re-up his safeguard and do a double bar light ja. And see if we can get people refilled here. It might not refill Ipney. That's okay. That's that's fine. It, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. Um, Zahn. Go ahead and do his LB. Ipney is just... Oh, Ipney can do Void Eruption. Yeah. So that's good. All right. So yeah, we'll, again, just send Zahn and Ipney and then send the um, Fundamental Forces. All right, and then we're gonna start another uh, another dark ramp with Melissa next turn. All right, so that one hit. Uh, oh, we got another one hit hitting the friend. Um, okay, we gotta be a little careful with that. All right, we're gonna do another uh, ramp. We'll do another uh, Beast Killer on mine, and we will do... Um, I think, because she got... Does she get dispelled? No, she still has all her resistances. All right, good. Um, I'm always, always double-checking that. All right, Ramp. Let's do a Beast Killer on mine, and let's do... Um, let's do a Kiraga. All right, for those that got hit by the um, the vacuum waves. Oh man, he needs another another turn on that one, doesn't he? Ah, uh, that's all right. Ah, uh, no, that's not all right. I need her to do her LB, but she needs to do her her dark ramp too. Ah, man, don't you love it? Punch level when things don't quite work out the way you want them to. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's what we're going to do. All right. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we'll start the lightning ramp next turn. Is that going to be... Is that going to work out? right for me no we need to do that this turn it's fine it's fine i'm not gonna i'm honestly not gonna sweat it all right we're gonna do the light uh we're gonna do the ramp beast killer on mine and uh a kiraga let's just stick with it let's stick with the plan we'll save the projected mirror for later um we will have zon steal it though uh we'll do deadly daggers uh fatal mirror on mine and uh, we're going to re-up our Black Fog. Okay, I think he's going to do in Dark uh, uh, Gloomy Black. Hope for Oblivion. 
Um, and let's do a Limitless Surge. Because our SLB is coming up next. Alright, we're going to do Heavenly Hypernova. Uh, we'll do a Limitless Surge. Regular. And a uh, Galactic Sunder. Heavenly Hypernova. Um, Limitless Surge. And uh, we'll do a Guidance of Leo. We'll do the, the Beast Killer. Why not? Um, just to make sure that it's maintained. And Limitless Surge. Okay. Willy is going to... Uh, seed Strategy, Attrition Strategy, and Limitless Surge. Okay. So you should still have cover. Yep, two turns of cover. Perfect. All right. Um, so hopefully we'll do a decent little burst next turn, and then another big one the turn after that when the SLBs pop up on our Fundamental Forces. Okay. So, and then, yeah, we're, we're sort of saving the really big one for uh, later, for when we get closer to the 20% threshold. All right, there's the Dispel on Melissa. And she got hit with Silence, which is perfect. All right, if she got hit, <laughs> if she had been hit with something worse, we would be in trouble, but Silence is perfectly fine. It's now shared immunity. Uh, we'll do Beast Killer on uh, the friend. And uh, da, 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 da. anything else we need to do? We should probably re up our Shelga. Uh, but we can't because we're silenced. That's funny. Um, okay. Well, in that case. Um, in that case, doesn't really matter here, does it? Uh, we could do, like, Parasol Shield, maybe? No, we probably shouldn't use that, should we? Let's just do another Shared Immunity to use up that action. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to use our second Overdrive now. Ooh, that wind. All right, um, just double-checking what we have here. Yeah, okay. Great. Alright, and yeah, this should hopefully be a pretty big, uh, big burst. Okay, because we've got 400 LB buffs on these guys, so hopefully this will, this one will be pretty, uh, pretty hefty. We've got our overdrive, and hopefully it'll push us well in, you know, well past the 50% threshold. We don't have to worry about healing or anything with this boss, which is really nice. Um, so obviously Zahn needs to go first for the breaks and the imperils. Uh, so I'm going to send Zahn and Eithne first, and then uh, the fundamental forces and Wilhelm. Okay? Okay, that's a pretty healthy burst, and then we'll do uh, one more next turn. So hopefully put us, um, you know, hopefully put us below 30% and sort of get us in position to do one final big burst. Okay. Now, I don't want to do too much damage here if I can, um, if I can help because obviously we don't want to push the... Um, we do not want to push the, uh, what am I trying to say? We don't want to push 20% here, okay? Um, now, I, I don't think we would. I don't think we would uh, push that here, but we do have our 100% amp. We still have our overdrive. So, you know, just got to be careful here. Um, what I will do, we use this opportunity to re-up our safeguard. Um, and then do double bar light, uh, okay, uh, Zahn has his projected mirror ready to go, but, yeah, not, we, we don't need to worry about that too much, um, 
what I'll probably do here, honestly, is, let's see, still got 200%. Um, yeah, because we're going to, you know, we still got three turns on that one. So we're going to start our last ramp, big ramping amp, uh, on turn 10. Is that right? Yeah. So I think that's when we're going to start that one. All right. I'm aiming for a 12 turn clear here, uh, in case you're wondering. Um, I haven't fully fleshed out the the uh, turn chart, which is why I'm kind of, you know, I'm a little bit all over the place on this one, but it's fine. I'll do Fatal Mirror on that one, and then I'll save Projected Mirror for next turn, I think. That's what we want to do. Uh, you can just do, like, Shadow Self on this turn. Actually, do we even really need to worry about that? No, he can just do his LB. He'll just do some chaining. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do uh, Beast Killer here. Um, we'll do Shared Immunity and Shelga. All right, I think doesn't have a full LB, but that's fine. Um, all she really needs to do here, we'll just do gloomy black, black and rainbow to make sure our amp field stays up. And, um, the last thing she can do could just be like, uh, determination to destroy or something like that. All right. So yeah, ideally we're just trying to get ourselves set up in, in like a, in good position to, um, uh, to do our, 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 our last two big bursts. That's all we're really doing here. And I'm just trying to be careful not to push the 20% threshold. All right, so let's do this thing. All right, that's perfect, 24%. That's, that's exactly where I wanna be, all right? Okay. All right, so. He did kill a couple of people, but they've been uh, revived thanks to Melissa, and that is actually okay. Uh, that's perfectly okay. So um, now we're just kind of we're going to get set up and ready to go. So all of our SLBs are going to line up uh, perfectly on l turn 11, uh, and so that is why we're just kind of we're going to kind of sit and um, go into survival mode here. All right, so we're going to do parasol shield. That way everybody has re-raise on themselves. Uh, make sure we do our sacred, uh, or our uh, shared immunity. And we'll do a, uh, let's do a, do we need to do a Kiraga? Yeah, probably should for Zahn's sake. Not sure how many stacks I have on him. But, um, all right, Wilhelm. Uh, how many turns does he have left on his cover? Ba, 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 just yeah, he's still got two turns on his cover, so he should be good. Um, da, 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 I'm just double checking myself. Okay, so we will basically just kind of hang out. Let's just do yeah, we'll just do triple bar light jizz. Why not? Um, Oh, and that's right there. Oh man, I hate these guys. All right. Um, okay. We've got a couple turns on Hope for Oblivion. Oh man, I hate cooldowns. God, they really tick me off. All right. So what we might do is actually wait until turn 12. Um, yeah, because again, just the way the, the timing works out, uh, with SLB units. This is why I hate SLB units so much. Oh, gosh. And especially when you have mismatched SLBs. Um, it's a real pain in the butt. Okay, so basically we're just going to hang out um, for a few turns. Uh, because I don't want to risk pushing the 20% threshold until we are absolutely ready to do it. So yeah, I'm literally just going to... I'm going to do his LB so I can re-up his safeguard. Because uh, we will need that. Uh, re-up that next turn. Um, God, that's why I wish, uh, I wish everybody was the same EX level, but 
That is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, Zahn. Yeah, Zahn doesn't really need to do anything either. Not yet, at least. Okay. Alright, she got paralyzed, which is perfectly fine. We can just use an item. Alright, use a remedy on her. We've got the time to spare. No big deal. Okay. Um, she has been dispelled, though, so, of course, we gotta do shared immunity. Alright, do it every time, right? Uh, we don't need to do Kurog anymore, so let's re-up our Shelga and a Bardarcha. All right, Wilhelm. Okay, uh, he'll do decisive point. Uh, Barlightja, Barlightja. All right, these guys just gonna basically hang out. I uh, don't think she needs to do anything here. I mean, we'll just do like an Indarka, I guess. Okay, um, yeah, so you, you see there, there, there's a bit of cushion here, so like if your team's not quite as strong, and you, you need to use these turns to get closer to 20%, you can obviously, you can use these, these turns where I'm just guarding, you can use these turns to, you know, get yourself closer to 20%. Uh, my team just is a little faster than I wanted to. Um, and, and so that's why I'm just kind of sitting around and waiting. Okay. Now we can set up for our big daddy burst. All right. Heavenly Hypernova, Limitless Surge Plus. Um, and the next thing can be kind of whatever. We'll do Celestial Aegis just in case they get hit with a vacuum wave or something. Right. Um, uh, Heavenly Hypernova, Limitless Surge. We don't need to do Supreme Spectrum because they don't have Dark Amp in their, in their kit. So that's why I'm not using their Supreme Spectrum, just the Limitless Surge Plus. Okay, uh, which one has the 250? Uh, none of them have the 250, that's okay. All right, Wilhelm. We'll do Siege, Attrition, and Limitless Surge Plus. Okay, um, Ithne does Hope for Oblivion, Devastation for Devastation. Um, we'll just do black and rainbow again, I guess, and limitless surge. Okay. Um, Melissa is going to do beast killer on Zahn, uh, shared immunity, and, um, I guess just like curse control, just to make sure we always have a darkened view. All right, Zahn is going to projected mirror to get the beast killer out to everyone. Um, uh, we'll do. Oh, she needs to do his deadly daggers too, doesn't he? Although that's not as important. I'm, I'm not as. Uh, I'm not as uh, worried about that. We're going to do fear of darkness and full moon phase. I honestly don't care about his mod boost because he's not dealing relevant damage here, anyways. He's really just here for the breaks and perils, and uh, and all the the dark support there. Okay. All right, so that's the 200% dark in peril. We now have a 100% uh, party dark amp. All right, I think I got hit by another vacuum wave, but it's fine because since she died before, um, she re-raised and has re-upped her, her guts. Um, I could have given her that, that coat, the high celestite coat that comes with like three extra stacks of guts. Because it's been upgraded now with like 160 attack and mag. It's actually pretty decent. All right. Here we go. This is going to be a big one. Uh, we might even kill the boss from here. But if, if you don't, then you just reload and, and do another burst uh, next turn. Because the boss won't do anything to you. All he does is an uh, undispellable full buff. Um, which makes him very, very bulky. But he doesn't do anything else to the party. So you get one more shot to, to finish him off from here. Okay. Um... And so I'm actually going to save uh, Melissa 
So at least you can do some triple bar darches uh, to get us ready to go. But we should all be pretty much good. We got our 100% amp, uh, final percent LB damage buff. You know, everyone's got the beast killers. We're all looking good on that one. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. And I think even has the 150 amp because she's got dark in her kit. So she's good to go. Good to go. Yep. Okay. Everyone's everyone's looking. Everyone's looking stonks. All right. We got nice high stats. Everyone's looking happy. All right. So we'll send um, Zon first, obviously, for the uh, the defense break. So I'm going to send Zon and Ithne and then everybody else, okay? All right, so we actually killed, and that's fine. Um, if if you don't kill on that turn, then Melissa just does triple bar darkja. Uh, she'll do triple bar darkja again on the following turn, and you just unload everyone's LBs again, all right? And it's pretty pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, um, but there you go, all missions clear with a few turns of cushion. Okay, and um, there's the spread, obviously fundamental forces taking it away. Um, Wilhelm, not really contributing so much, but because he was built, um, because he's built as a tank. Okay, um, he's built more for tanking this, this fight than he is necessarily for dealing damage, but obviously like his overdrive ability um, is huge in sort of increasing the damage output for the whole party. So that's how this team got it done. Uh, let me show you the gear real quick. Uh, it's going to ask me to refill my energy, isn't it? Um, all right, so here's the team. Um, and I'll, I'll describe the, the, the friend fundamental force is basically built the same as mine, with one exception, that's having death resist. Uh, because the friend unit must have death resist. Uh, so Melissa... Basically, she doesn't really need um, much. She needs uh, ailment. You know, you want her ailments uh, covered um, across the board. She does need death resist because the first phase of the fight will target slot one with death. So make sure she's got death resist. That's what Vermilion Flag is doing there for the death resist. Um, and then otherwise, yeah, just like typical gear for Melissa. She is uh, passively provoking, so uh, perfect provocation is there. You do want her to be your passive provoke unit. All right, that will be very, very helpful. So whatever you need to make her passive provoke. Uh, but otherwise, she doesn't need too much. Um, you know, just ailment resist and at least 70% light resist. Uh, because like I said, there is a 170% light in peril in phase two. So make sure that she has at least 70% light resist. Okay, uh, I think um, Kral Scrunchy is there for the uh, for the ailment resist with a decent mag stat on it. Um, otherwise, just giving her high mag gear. Um, yeah, uh, Plant Eater because the first boss is human and plant, so that's what Plant Eater senses there. Valued Memories is great because that's 100% beast killer, so she you know innately caps. Uh, this is just the best vision card I have for her. Um. And so she's capped on beast, uh, good on human and plant and LB damage. Um, she is a little bit lacking on light. I should have given her some more light resist. So you may have noticed she took a little bit of magic damage during phase two. That was from the uh, the magic damage over time because she was only 80% resistant uh, to the magic damage. But, you know, as you can see, that was enough. All right. Uh my fundamental four is basically just you know full out on uh, on gear, um, using everything we've got. As you can see, you know that still gave you plenty of room for cushion. Uh, so if you you don't have all this gear, you may not necessarily need it because there's plenty of room there uh, to get things done. Um, so the only the only difference between mine and the friend unit is that the friend unit had Kurosame's cape in the accessory slot uh, for death resist because the first phase will target slot six with death got to make sure the friend unit has death resist okay uh and then yeah a little bit of um plant killer uh another stack of guts with herb as boon there and then united as one is great for that chain speed boost uh just you know really helps ramp up her chain that much faster so that she can uh deal out dish out more damage uh, a lot faster all right Heo's card best one that i have for her she is uh overkiller on beast 
Um, it's not necessary, but it definitely helps make the fight go faster. 300 human, only 200 plant, and that's fine. We don't need that much plant killer for the second boss. Just, you know, a little bit of extra. We already get, you know, she already gets 125 from having uh, Ifrit Esper on her. And then 75%, whatever 75, you don't have to have Keeper of Decrana. Just whatever 75% plant killer materia you have. All right. Uh, Zahn, he's got a dagger in one hand, fist in the other, so he can take advantage of the 50% fist in peril from, um, from what's-her-face? <laughs> Fundamental force. Uh, otherwise, just high attack gear is all he really needs. Um, yeah, United is one, again, that chain speed materia. Um, I probably should have given him, given him a bit more, uh, like another stack of guts or something, but I think he already has, like, two stacks of guts anyways. Uh, and then just this vision card, um... You know, if you got something better, put it on there. It's fine. So he's good on beast, uh, good on human, and uh, only 225 plant, but that's fine. We don't really need to be maxed out on plant. Beast is the is the most important killer to max out for your party. Uh, Wilhelm. So he is built to tank. As you can see, he's got a lot of uh, of uh, tank gear here. He is wielding his uh, his TMR, so he at least gets his trust passive. Uh, but then in the body slot. We've got the Swordswoman's Celestite Cuirass of Will, um, because it comes with 100%. Uh, it comes with 100% HP on it, which is fantastic. Plus, it's got Death Resist, so it has Null Death, uh, which is fantastic, um, because we want to make sure he has Death Resist, because they will also target slot five with Death on the first phase, so he is also Death Resistant. Prophet's Diadem is just nice for. Um, for defense and spirit and HP. Um, it's probably not the best diadem uh, for him. I think there's another one that has more HP on it. This one's uh, more for, for MP, but you know it's it's still nice because it's got a nice high defense and spirit stat on it. Uh, spirit Tiger Mask is fantastic because it's got 100% HP. Uh, Battle Talisman is nice because it's got 30% HP and an extra stack of guts. Always nice to have. And then just lots of HP and spirit. Soldier's Expertise is fantastic because that's 100% uh, spirit and 50% HP. Uh, Blazing Armor is, you know, 50% HP plus some LB damage. Uh, Heavy Armor Mastery is great because it's 50% to all stats. Uh, Shy Mermaid for the 200% spirit TDH. And then he's got the Seti and Sacred Shield, which is nice for, um, for increasing your spirit because it's got 200% Spirit TDH, it's got another stack of guts on it, uh, plus some flat spirit and passive spirit on it as well. As you can see, he is maxed out on HP, but he's still not maxed out on spirit. It's hard to build him for spirit, but it was enough to get this one done. Uh, and then as for his killers, like he's not, like I said, he's not really built for damage on this one, but he still has 250% beast and 250% LB damage. But, you know, we, we, we uh, erred on the side of caution and went for... Uh, for more spirit. You could probably get away with, with taking one of these out and giving him you know, like some, some more beast killer uh, or LB damage or something like that, but you know, we opted, uh, we opted to be more tanky and it, it worked out just fine for us. So uh, that's the team. That's how we got it done. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys and uh, I will start working on Vlad and Kefka. I'm, I'm probably going to do Vlad f first because uh, I think Vlad will be easier than Kefka. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe Kefka will be easier. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm going to kind of play around with both of them, and I will get those out to you as soon as I have, um, you know, a good, you know, a good team and a good strategy that is reliable and repeatable. You know, I, 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 I don't want to put something out there just, you know, that's, that's just really impressive, but is not very reliable and not very repeatable. I like to have a repeatable strategy that people can actually watch, they can learn from, and they can try it, and, and you know, more often than not succeed by using that strategy. Um, but I will definitely post those as soon as I have something for you guys. It might be tomorrow, might be the day after, might be next week. I don't know, it just depends. We'll see how we go. Um, you know, there are clears out there already uh, of, of Vlad and, um, and Kefka using Wilhelm. Uh, I believe Wanderer has done both of them already. Uh, all missions clear with with Wilhelm. I think um, I think Alcatrev did or got close to doing Vlad. I think um, so. He'll he'll probably have one up sooner rather than later as well. Um, and I think I know I know Reznot has done them, but he hasn't done videos of them yet. So he'll probably get those out. 
this week as well. So th there are other content cre creators out there with clears of Vlad and, and Kefka if you're interested to see what it takes to actually get those finished in an all missions clear. Uh, hopefully mine will be coming out to you guys soon as well. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Thanks for supporting me. And I will see you on the other side.